Look around. Oh. <laughs> what you gonna do with this thing? You got it back. It's facing. There we go. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.
Um, Nate is a professional man. Nate is a, a, a father, a son, just like many of our soldiers that we know today. And I want you guys to know that in June, it's important that we take some time out and really love on our soldiers and really acknowledge mm -hmm. them and let them know that we know that there's no such thing as a, a, a real uh, Superman without any emotions <laughs> and without <laughs> feeling Come anything. We got superhuman mm -hmm. men, and that's what we need to start being real with because we need our soldiers to know that they very much matter. So palms up, guys. This June and every month, we want to make sure to acknowledge our soldiers. So, Nate, I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about all this work we got going on. First of all, first of all, MITV World. What is that all about? What is MITV.world? And if you don't know, you should follow along and go to MITV.world. Please go to the website, man. It's going to be the one-stop shop for all things mental health that we are going to be putting on our programming. Uh, we're going to have some great things going on. We got uh, a lot of shows, a lot of things that are going to really put us in a, in a position to be a voice in this area that's going to definitely tell the truth, nothing but the truth, and be open <laughs> and, and transparent uh, about the things that we seem to be hiding, the, same, the, the things we seem to be sweeping under the rug about uh, our mental health. I mean, luckily we in that age right now where everybody is realizing that mental health is a very important Ooh, part yes. of our, our, our day to day. Yes, so it is. gladly, I'm, I'm glad we are in that age, mm -hmm. but we just going to try to take it a step further. And, and I don't think that there is anything in this area that is focusing fully on this the way we're going to gonna do it and, and I just, know it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it's not it's not, you know, it's not I mean because you know when we talk about for example we talk about our support groups right well we came out of the pandemic realizing that folks need help today yes. and folks keep, their mental health don't shut off at 5pm mm -hmm. we've been saying it the whole time so we learned that the virtual connection is something that we could explore more and then what we also realize is that we have family and folks and community members mm -hmm. that are across the nation that are going through challenges yes. that need this word. And so um, our children who have the ability to uh, pick up a phone and find and choose something positive, mm -hmm. we talked about and we launched the Mindfully Making a Difference studio. Mm -hmm. I know they thought we was crazy. They know we was going, mm, we was going somewhere. Mm -hmm. If our children are going to pick up their phones and look at the mm -hmm. negative stuff, we want to challenge them to get on that phone and do the po look at the positive mm -hmm. stuff. And so having our own TV channel on five smart TV networks which by the way smart TV viewing is outpacing regular TV viewing forces yes, so we are right where we need to be as the transition happens because our Gen Z and our millennial folks mm -hmm. are on their phones you know that's just the thing and I you know it's pride so can I give a, a, a mental health fact we know that the LGBTQ community annually is the largest population that is dealing with mental health challenges and seeking help and not getting it. And so we need to make certain that we are, our message is in front of our children, yeah. right? Our message in front, is in front of our government and our message is in front of our community yeah. because we have a stigma about mental health. So I wanted Nate to come on so we could talk to you guys. We have shows like the Moving Men. Moving Men was a support group with M.I. Mother's Keeper, we were on the ground over in Ward 8. And every Thursday, our men would come down there and we'd get to talking and figuring it out. And what I got so excited about was because we have no judgment zones. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right? That's it. It's not about judging where people are. It's about mm -hmm. finding out if we can be a resource. Mm -hmm. And so, Nate, I asked you to come on tonight because a lot of times men don't feel comfortable talking about it mm -hmm. and for the better part of the last six seven years i've been the face of this thing right mm -hmm. but as i transition to get ready to campaign again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Palms palms up. Up. i gotta hurt. put it i gotta put it in good <laughs> hands and let y'all know that we are on a mission to save some lives. We want our soldiers at the table. We want our overseers at the table, meaning our clergy folks. And we want you, guys, we want you to know that this message is real. Nate, talk to me a little bit. When we did that, and you're going to have to check it out on the Smart TV channel. We're going to be posting about it. Go to MITV.world just to get an idea of what we're doing. And stay tuned. 
But um, Nate, one of the shows is the Moving Men Show, and that was, again, our support group on the ground that we're bringing to the virtual network. And it was just designed to showcase our men, to allow you guys to go to those vulnerable spaces. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to tell everything, <laughs> but you talk about your uh, feeling responsible for making sure that your son understands, oh. you know, this, this this mental health thing and the importance yes. of them getting it at home. Give us a little bit about it. Just a sneak peek for yeah. our folk out there because I don't want to give it away. Oh, man. I'm, I just shout out to Caritage. I hope you're looking at this. <laughs> um, really, um, I love my son, man, and I think that he deserves to know as much as he needs to know about how his mind can end up working and understanding that I have to be transparent enough with my son to make him transparent enough with the world to to be able to just be himself mm -hmm. and be confident in when he has an issue, not to shy away from it, but to go head first, head in to that dilemma or whatever that issue may be. And I want him to know that his dad goes through it. His mm -hmm. dad deals with it. And mm -hmm. it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, I, I look at it as, as something that it's an opportunity for me to be better every single day. If I run into a roadblock, if I run into something that's uh, uh, I'm considering considering negative or stress, I was I was talking to one of my good friends this morning, and she was telling me, man, we. I, I, I was telling her like, man, I'm I'm I got a lot on on my plate. I got I'm, I'm kind of you know, and I was using the word stress over and over, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, I can't keep saying stress. I can't. I gotta <laughs> figure out another thing because stress when you say it. It, it feels, puts stress on, yeah, you know uh, what I'm saying? So uh, uh, I looked at it, and we, we, we talked, and she ran through, and she was like, tension. Mm -hmm. It's just tension. It's not stress. Mm -hmm. You're just going through a tense moment in your day or a tense moment in your life. So I want to be able to, to, to pour into my son with all those types of, you know, tools and, mm -hmm. and weapons to be able to fight this war, this this mental health war, man. So, uh, yeah, man, tune in. It's, it's, it's going to be interesting, hopefully. You know, people can get something from it. I know they will. And if, you know, we're going to keep giving you programming. So it's going to come. Yeah. It's going to touch as many people as it, as it possibly can. So Yeah, I'm so excited. That when you were talking, I was just thinking about the exchange you guys did on the... We do the taping, guys, behind the scene. And um, Expressions is another show that's going to come out. And Expressions <laughs> is just, just that. It's a platform that we're allowing our creative expressions to basically serve as the, the remedy for the emotional outlets that we need. And our expressions could come in the form of our music. Nate, you do so well with your beats and things. And you guys are going to experience a lot of that in the channel. He's very modest. But I want you to know that one of the things we've been encouraging him to do is to have his music, have his music come through the channel because music is so therapeutic, right? Yeah. And we talk about this balance in mm -hmm. mental health. We talk about being proactive and preventative in our uh, what we call crises moments, um, the voices, the dark spaces. Everybody isn't comfortable talking about this yeah. stuff. And so what we're trying to do on the Palms Up platform with the Healthy DC Coalition and also with MI Mother's Keeper, with our work, we're trying to show everyday life scenarios and help you guys understand that you too can you too can find a stabilizing routine. And so Nate is coming on to talk to you. There was a time. There was a time when he was challenged. And as he describes, you'll hear him talk about in the Moving Men series, he talks about the reality of of uh, just one day waking up the day before everything was fine. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then woke up one day and his life was just different. And so we were able to explore the reality of hereditary when it comes to mental health. I mean, guys, let's face it. Mm -hmm. If you live long enough, you want to know who you are, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Putting that mask on and putting the wig and the weave and the lipstick and tipping and, and, and my fellas, you know, it's all right to look good, but y'all know we a hot mess out there. Mm -hmm. Y'all know we a hot yeah, mess not it. doing our work. That's it. It. You know, and then we have babies and then we fall in love and we so unhealthy and then we calling each other names and then we feel away the and then our men, and I'm so glad mm -hmm. you're sitting here, Nate, Please give a message to my men out there to say, 
Why should they go talk to a therapist? They can do it themselves. You can't do it Come yourself, on now. man. Because if you think you could do it yourself, you're not paying attention. You can't get money by yourself. You hey. can't build a business by yourself. Hey. You can't get through this world without somebody so, helping you. So why don't you think for your mental, for your brain to be able to really like be on point, like why wouldn't you want to have somebody professional mm -hmm. that knows the, the, the psychology of how our brains work? Why wouldn't you want to go to somebody that could that could talk you through some of the hard times in your life? Like, why wouldn't you? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You go to a doctor. You, If you want to learn how to play basketball, you're going to go to the coach, the best coach you can find. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you do that for your mind? Like, that's just, it's obvious. But I understand that it's, it's one of the stigmas that we have right now, and it's, it, it has a stereotype behind it. You think about the loony bin. You think about people with, with, with gowns in the middle of the street or acting crazy mm -hmm. if they feel like they got a mental health issue or mental illness. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When you say illness, it's like, I got a problem. But when you refer it to it as mental health, you want it to stay healthy, that turns it into something else. So just look at it from a different standpoint because, you know, you, you don't know what you're missing. You really That's don't. right. You really That's don't right. know what you're missing out on because it's a lot of people that are really, really focused on making sure that our men get as much help as they possibly can yeah. get when it comes to, to, to their mental and how they can navigate through all the, the tension that we're going to be dealing with as men, with raising sons and daughters and protecting moms and sisters and aunts and, and, and grandmas and all that stuff. We got to be able to, mm -hmm. to, to look at it from the standpoint of like, yo, we got a lot on our plate. Mm -hmm. And what better way to, to, to help ourselves it's about going to a professional. That's just like going to the doctor. We need to go to the doctor too. We gotta stay on point on all aspects. I mean, all aspects of our lives, man. Just staying healthy across the board. You know what I mean? That is some real talking. You know, as you were talking, I just kept thinking how beautiful life would be if our men was all on point, understanding their role, like you talked about, being the protectors, making sure that the women, the grandmother, the, their wives, their significant others, their children are taken care of. And then we are the nurturers, ladies. So the reality of us doing our work and being whole or trying to get whole is that we have communities that are falling apart. We're going to work every day, some of us, coming home to the same old toxic environments. And when you talk about the eight essentials of the world, oh, hey, there's overseer. We didn't even say hi to overseer this week. We just jumped in. Palms up, sis. That's my ride or die. She's with me no matter what we doing. What we doing? What we doing? We going hiking? We going hiking? I got my boots. What they got? Snow Ronda, I'm coming. I'm ready. Bro. What I got? I'm brother, sis. It's raining out there. That is my ride or die. Palms up to you, sis. I appreciate you. But I mean, I, we talk about getting our women whole, and while we brought our moving men um, support group to the air so that we could try to reach more of our men out there um, through their talents and through just their everyday realities, our women, we do kind of behind the scene through our virtual support groups um, because we realize that there are women out there that are in communities and in households and marriages and mm -hmm. relationships. They yes. are in turmoil. They yes. are going through, guys. And it is important that we recognize that we have to create more no judgment zones. We have to create more opportunities for people to get this word right where they are. Yeah. Sometimes people don't feel like getting out the bed or getting dressed and doing their hair to and, go and get and, help. And, and you that's know? real. And what I um, say all the time, I don't care what level you are in life, mm -hmm. as you say, tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's real. Um, and coming from a spiritual aspect, we sometimes tend to go into denial. Mm -hmm. And want to say it's a demon instead of realizing what, what's going on with you here is mm -hmm, real. Mm -hmm. Taking care and of everybody so else is in your people, own self. We damage people anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, even more. And then when it comes to being a woman, that missing piece of the puzzle in today's society is that man. Mm -hmm. And I see it more and more. They try to take out the man. Mm -hmm. And that's Absolutely. what's really missing. Absolutely. You know, um, I can identify with the PTSD, um, the anxiety, the depression, and all that. You know, I, I kind of joke around and say, I haven't taken my, my purple <laughs> pill. But there's days that I don't want to get out of my bed. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to hear scripture. I don't want to hear prayer. I don't want to be bothered and just have to get to a certain point. Um, you know, and that is my ride or die. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I, I was doing a sermon and Rhonda picked up something that nobody, and I mean, I have people around me all the time and always dealing with it. She picked up in the midst of my sermon and I said, I tried to take my life. Mm -hmm. Nobody else picked it up. And she pumped her brakes. She's like, and we together all the time. Mm -hmm. And I never knew. And it's like you said, we have to be able to talk about it. Right. Because it's real. Yeah. It's real and we've been taught that is a, a, a bad thing, but no, that's why it's unhealthy. Because we been taught that you don't talk about mm -hmm. it, but you gotta talk about it. Yeah. And sometimes it just takes that friendly voice to just push you enough mm -hmm. to go. And reality, sometimes it is very hard for us to find services. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a rarity to find someone in that profession that's from my culture mm -hmm. to understand. I know for me, I have a therapist, and finally I found a therapist that's my culture, so she understands, mm -hmm. you know, the things. The, the things, because sometimes cultures do play a big part mm -hmm. of our mental health. I'm so glad you went there. Let's go there for a minute. Guys, guys, it's your girl, it's your girl, poems up, and we're just having a frank discussion. We don't always pop our fingers on this show. You know, sometimes we get down to the nitty-gritty because it's important. We want to save a life. We want to touch a life. We want you guys to know that you're never alone, poems up. This mental health can be real, and sometimes it disguises itself, as you heard Ann say. Sometimes we're joking with it. We're not real with it, as you heard Nate say. We, we think we can do it, but the definition of sanity, insanity is to keep doing, doing the, the same, same thing. thing and ending up in the same results. So I'm talking to you out there. If you're like me, you was a serial relationship person, you know, I'm in my third marriage and I'm happy, but you have to live and go through, you got to go through to get through, right? And everybody has their own journey. But the truth of the matter is, guys, we're building a standalone trauma and yes. wellness center because we recognize that we don't see what our people need out there. Mm. Let's face it, yeah. it's been at least five solid years of gun violence. Yes. That PTSD and that trauma in those it's communities where we in and out of going in households with the holes in the wall, our brothers come and talk to you, the brothers that they would say are troublesome, the brothers that they didn't wrote off, I'm talking to them mm -hmm. hearts every day in the community. Yeah. And they letting us know it's real, the struggle is real. When I was campaigning, guys, I had brothers breaking down in my arms 11 o'clock at night asking me to please do something about the housing if I get in there. Yeah. Guys, the, the struggle is real, and it doesn't help to ball up and be angry about it. We got to talk about it because we got to find some real solutions. And when you find people that's steadfast trying to do something, you got to join with them. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have healthy women yeah. to support the nurturing and to hold the brothers and the kids down, our community structures ain't going to work. Yeah. I'm talking to you out there, women. I need y'all out there. They're at the end of the day, there has to be something more than just having fun or going in your house, closing the door and saying, oh, it ain't my problem. But it is. Mm -hmm. But it is. And we got to get back to that palms up. Hey, Ned, I want you to talk to me a little bit about the reality of suicide being so real in our community. They say ages 10 to 34, we're losing them faster than any other part of the population. And I know you have your music, but help me understand for you in those dark moments, how effective is your music and your trade and your talent? Mm -hmm. Like what's pulling you out? Let's talk to Man, a soul out there. I'm, I'm looking at it like I, I, I really feel that the exercise the outlet of, of creativity and I'm, I'm just I'm looking at all the things that are helping me right now and it's all coming to me at the same time so I got the moving uh, and hauling that I'm doing and it's constant movement mm -hmm. I'm constantly lifting and, and twisting mm -hmm. and problem solving all at the same time and then I get to come home and, and, and come to the, to, the, to the living room and do all types of craziness that comes from my head and put it, <laughs> put it inside In your of a, music. yeah, just put it inside of, of something that can can do some wonders for someone's ears. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's just exciting. So having those outlets can can make or break you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the fact mm -hmm. that 
you know, if you don't have anything to get those endorphins out and get that that yeah. that pushing those those I, I don't know the, the terminology, but you I think y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> that negative the, energy. Just getting get all that, that negative energy, energy out, man, about. It's, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. And it's so simple, but it's so complicated at the same time. Like it's, it is. Because you don't realize that, yo, if you just go do fifteen push ups, you'll feel better. If you breathe a certain way, yeah. you'll feel better. And yeah. if you don't have those couple of little things to do, yeah, you, know, you you're gone. Yeah, you're you know I mean? Yeah. So, I mean I'm using mm-hmm. I'm utilizing all just just being outside, getting some sun for, uh-huh. for 10, environmental. 10 mm-hmm. Just just it's all types of stuff. And I'm, I'm as we were talking about um uh just just that friendly voice that you were yeah. you were mentioning. Even if you do have that stigma or that that's that, that thought process that, that um therapy is is for for somebody weaker, just mm-hmm. go talk to somebody that you really respect. Yeah. Just go to it don't have to be a therapist all the time. Mm-hmm. You can just have good people around you that you can have a conversation with and confide in. If yeah. you can confide in with somebody, start that way. And then as you continue, you may get more comfortable with, with sharing your feelings. But don't bother them because all that's, that's going to do is dangerous. push you into this space where you got all this bottle energy mm-hmm. that one minute you cool and the next minute somebody hits you in the back of your leg with a car to go to the <laughs> and you, you ready yeah you postal you ready to pop up. so it's, it's it's one of the things where you got to really use the tools that are around use mm-hmm. the people use the the resources that we're going to be providing just just do what you can to keep yourself sane call somebody just have a conversation with them because i mean it, it's it makes a difference. It really does make a difference. And yeah. there's people out here that's all, that are willing to listen. They're not going to try to tell you what to do. You got to, that's all, that's another thing that that's that can put people in a, 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 a tizzy when it comes to this. Like, yo, I don't want to tell no, I don't want to put people all in my business. They trying to tell me what to do. Yeah. You got to just find those people that are willing to listen. Yeah. And yeah. not give an nothing. opinion yeah. at the time. But that goes back and to you can what open it like that. But see, but no, I'm glad you made that point because see, we act like just because we looking for help. We got to take what the first choice is. See, yeah. other populations understand second and third opinions. Yeah. We don't give, you know, we just lazy sometimes. And so a lot of times we don't embark on the process because we don't want to do the work. But you heard Ann say that sometimes you need somebody that look like you to, to understand it. the struggle. That's and that's it. what we call culturally relevant resources, right? Mm-hmm. And here's the thing is our people, and that's why we got to keep talking. And that's why I asked my mom all those years ago if it was okay if I told our story, mm-hmm. if she would give me the okay to do so. Because I wanted, I know with our people, we ain't listening and listening. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was part of the part, our little part. Oh, <laughs> Got it on. 
it is what uh, it is. You got to deal with it. And you keep trying to band it. Yeah, and but you know why we do it? Because they want perfection. They want, they want, want we, we, we want to fit wants. in. You know, we, we, you know, we, we got to. We don't need that. Yeah. We don't need that come type on, of question. Come on. We don't need that type, of, that, that type of thought process. Come on. Uh, come come on. on. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. It's your girl. It's your girl. And palms up. I tell you, I love this show. No telling what. What we're going to end up talking about a segue to, but I want you to know that we've been attracting some real souls. And like yeah. you heard us talking with Nate, Nate Wheeler is our creative director. We're going on to the smart TV platform, and we've been struggling in the background to get everything together for you guys. So I tell you, I tell you that but it's we been have fun. heard. It yeah, has it been very fun. fun, and we got our memories, right? Yeah. And you guys are going to be so proud of us. I'm so excited. Palms up to all of our folks out there, some of our advocates and our colleagues and partner organizations that have already come in to do some tapings behind the scene. We've already taped for our expression Precious. show. We've already taped, uh, did an episode of our Moving Men, so you'll learn more about our creative director, Nate. Um, we also did a state of the community in the beauty uh, shop, and I'm so excited for that to come out because I had to get vulnerable and let my hair down so y'all see all this head sticking out while I'm getting my hair done. But we're talking about some real stuff, and I tell you, I throw myself on the line any day of the week to make sure I'm trying to save yeah, a soul with this mental health. Absolutely. Palms up, guys. It's, it's your girl. It's your girl. In June, it's National PTSD Awareness. It's also Cancer Survivor Awareness. Mm -hmm. It's also Pride. It's also children's awareness it's also uh um what do we say uh uh men's health awareness month june is quite a bit of awarenesses so there's no reason that we shouldn't be have conversations in all circles guys one in five americans did you know live with mental illness um did you know that 50 percent of mental illness begins at the age of 14 and that 75 percent begins at the age of 24 why do I make that point? Because we're looking at Nate and Ann, uh, 11 and 12 year olds in DC mm -hmm. and Prince George's County committing carjacking, jarking, yeah. carjackings, crimes with guns. I mean, mm -hmm. they on their second and third offenses. And I'm just like, what in the world, right? And then the mayor calls a meeting and asks the city what to do about the crime. And I'm like, didn't you just win an election? Didn't you run three times? Didn't you win three times? How do you have all this money and access to resources and all those community level and community based agencies and you don't pull us into the fold as you should and then you come to the community which I think is a ploy to keep them thinking that this is just, you just can't come out of this, mm -hmm. right? And that's just dangerous, guys. Palms up. A gun, as we said on our show last week, and shout out to Greg out there, I hope you're watching, brother. Mm -hmm. um, Guns don't pull the triggers themselves. No. That even if you rig it up to pull a string or hit a button, that's still you doing something mm -hmm. to make that gun go off. And when are we going to have the conversation? The challenge in our nation is that you've got our Second Amendment right folks, shout out and palms up to our Second Amendment right folks, who are concerned that those of us who are not being real about the fact that our children don't have what they need, they don't have the proper oversight, and, 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 and the folks that are committing these gun crimes are not responsible in their understandings mm -hmm. of owning a gun, so why do you just penalize the whole because you've got a population mm -hmm. that just won't do right? So we have some challenges in our nation, and that's why we need empathetic, common sense, forward-thinking leadership, um, and we don't have that. And, and there's no respect for our leadership. That's why the guns keep going off. But you know, Ron, you know, I always define gun. It's more than just the bang bang. Mm -hmm. That every person that walked this earth mm -hmm. possess a gun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, I'm talking about our mental factors, yeah. how we feel about one another, how we treat one another, how we think about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And when we don't deal with that, we're loading that gun up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it's not taken care of, that's when the manifestation start, when we're picking up that metal gun. Yeah. 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 And we want somebody to feel what we're feeling. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, I've heard too, you know, what's our dear controversial Charleston White online, Palms Up, Mr. White, <laughs> if you happen to be looking at the Palms Up show, because we be looking at you. <laughs> palms Up. But he was talking about the fact that, let's be real, 
A lot of them, when they get that gun in their hand, they feel powerful. Oh, yeah. For many of them, having that gun makes them feel a way. But I'm here to tell you, my women out there, if you have young men, young men that you're raising, that you have the opportunity to influence, um, give them something else so that they can feel powerful about. You know, help our men, help our young women and our youth to understand that there are many other ways, many other avenues that they can affect. It is important that we're trying to find out what the connection is. You know, like we partner with uh, the In the Community Veterans mm -hmm. TV Agency because I'm like, wow, they all into this, this uh, virtual and this TV stuff. Mm -hmm. Won't they learn it? professionally and properly so they can use it to go yeah. make some money with yeah. it, right? We got to create more environments for our children to just be mm -hmm. naturally themselves because they're talented. But we got to hold them accountable. You don't get to have all these phones and fancy shoes and outfits if you're not willing to go to therapy. So guys, we're out here trying to help you impart positive processes in your children. We don't call it mental illness TV. We right. call it mental intelligent, intelligent TV, TV because we have to take the lemons that we've been given and we got to turn it into lemonades, right? Mm -hmm. We got to educate our children to be smarter and to recognize that even though they have challenges, they're going to live with them and they can carry it with them and they can still have a wonderful life. Guys, it's your girl. It's your girl. Hey, Nate, I want you to talk to us in the space of the um, Mint Nation Cafe, the brainchild behind bringing artists to the platform um, for the purpose of and why it was important you doing what you do. Mint Nation Cafe, what is that about? Yeah, man, Mint Nation Cafe is going to be something similar to, similar to like a speakeasy where we'll bring artists that have multitudes of talents. It could be a painter, it could be a singer, it could be a rapper, a poet, anybody that has a talent that is going to be speaking to or, or trying to help out the the mental health community like whatever is going to push forward the 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 voice that needs to be heard mm -hmm. we're trying to put them on the blast mm -hmm. we want to put them on the forefront mm -hmm. you know i think that this is going to be an opportunity for people that you know that may be afraid or mm -hmm. shy like and i mean shy. i'm not necessarily shy but i ain't i'm not gonna be all over the place neither mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i'm confident but i'm not gonna i'm not i'm, I'm not extra right you, you know what i'm saying here, but right. i i know that i could be doing more and i think that if we put people in front of the camera that have the talent are afraid to do the talent but do it anyway it's gonna put yeah. it's gonna make another person that has that same fear or those same feelings you know, mm -hmm. put them in the position to say, you know what, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. And then you can just continue yeah. to see that that line of people that one week ago were afraid mm -hmm. to to put themselves mm -hmm. out there, and then the next week they're on Apple TV. Yeah. How <laughs> you about know what that? Saying? And I'm the glad you said that. But it becomes a reality. It's like, wow, I'm doing something that I always saw on TV and thought I would never yeah. be able yeah. to. Exactly. Yeah. It becomes a reality. Yeah. And it pushes them that, you know what, I'm going to take this a little further. Exactly. I'm going to take this a little further. So now you're bringing it into the community. they going back, and they're telling their friend, man, come on, we, it's another better way, mm -hmm. and we can do this. Mm -hmm. You know, we ought to met some real down-to-earth exactly. people. Mm -hmm. They let me be me. I ain't no judgment zone. Mm -hmm. I can talk about what I want to talk about, mm -hmm. and I'm getting the help I need. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. and that's where we got to get to. That's yeah. what we got to It's get called to. accountability. That's right. right. That's right. I think right. the cafe is going to do that. I think the cafe is going to make people feel like uh, it's going to be a community that, we, uh, mm -hmm. that we're going to try to build. And that's the word. Community. You know that's we it. We want you to that's feel like, word. yo, you can come to the cafe, have a conversation. Come sit down. Come talk. Mm -hmm. And then show me what you got. That's show me right. what, you, what you can do. That's right. What, what, you, what are you passionate about? What makes you happy? What, what could you do every single day when you wake up and be Fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's Show me cool. that, and let's put this on blast so that it can influence the masses and that are And it works, and it works. Mm -hmm. like you was talking about um, the paint. One time, what I did, I have a girlfriend that do the paint and sip shows, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what I had her to do is I bought a group of people that don't paint, don't mm -hmm. do anything, and she did a stencil. So everybody had the same stencil, mm -hmm. and everybody's like, "We can't do this. We can't do this." And we started painting. Mm -hmm. And as the people were painting, they started talking. Mm -hmm. And by the end of the session, there were some beautiful pictures mm -hmm. 
and they felt like they accomplished something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. We got to be willing exactly. to teach our community something new. So look, here we go. The Smart TV Network, why I got excited is because on average, you have a 4.25 million mm -hmm. viewership a day, right? And I love you. I love you, Facebook. <laughs> Palms up. But it wasn't giving me that level of exposure mm -hmm. so that we can get our programming out there. Guys, running for office it revealed to me all of the mm -hmm. intimate <coughs> struggles <coughs> that so many people across the D.C. and I should say the D.M.V. area because it's just something palms up out there that when you find out you're talking to somebody that is running for office, you open up because you're hoping that you're talking to somebody that's going to help you and I get it. I got it out there and so I'm so excited to be working with folks like Nate who I know is going to hold it down. I'm so excited to be responsible for advancing the platform into the virtual understanding of the smart TV world. Um, MITV.world yes. is the website, right? MITV.world mm -hmm. and MI stands for mental intelligence because it's time that we get to a better, more stronger place in our understanding of mental health and mental wellness, right? We've got to have these tough conversations. We got to know that our everyday folks mm -hmm. deal with it. We got to know that it's manageable and we got to know that we can be responsible about it. And we got to know that our children got to hear it from us, right? And so yesterday's understanding of mental health had us feeling a way because the people didn't look like mm -hmm. us. They sat on the other side of the chair in the white coat. They observed us mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and made us feel like mm -hmm. You interesting creature, you. Mm -hmm. right. And then they made a dollar off of us. And we went back home to our regular dysfunctional lives, many of us, and we spiraled until next time to go to our appointment, right? Mm -hmm. Or we took a lot of pills that had us feeling out of it. So a lot of us don't take our medicine because it don't make us feel good. You got to talk up and say something. Right. They don't mm -hmm. have the answers all the time. Mm -hmm. They don't have it right. Your journey is unique to you. And just because it worked for somebody else doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's going to work for yeah. you. But you got to be able to speak up and say something. Mental health is real. And just because you might notice you got a little twitch or something a little different don't mean you ain't got no common sense. Right. And yeah. that's why we're saying speak up. Speak up because your life is worth it. And you deserve to live the better version of yourself. But let me tell you something. That's a double-edged sword. Yes, it is. Because you're not going to be carrying on and falling out and knocking in holes and things how you want to put it in the cafe. Now, everybody that sees it, 4.25 million viewers a day, everybody that sees it has the opportunity to vote. In a 30-day period, the material that garners the most vote, we're going to give you a showcase. We either going to come to you and you're going to set it up or you're going to come to us and we're going to set it up. But the idea is to reward you for staying strong and determined in your mental wellness. Mm -hmm. We want folks in our network that are trying to live their best life and willing to be responsible and accountable for their behaviors. Palms up. Oh, we going somewhere with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so that's Mint Nation Cafe. Let's pick Nate's brain because we got more going on. Hey, Nate, hey, Nate. You know, June 16th is coming up, right? And we are excited because June, June 16th, June 19th is uh, June 10th. June 10th is this Monday coming, guys. Palms up. And for those of you who don't know, June 10th is the holiday that's uh, designated by the government for us to celebrate our emancipation, although we were already free. Mm -hmm. But I ain't going to do your history for you. Do your history because it's important that you know. But the point is, is that because it's a federal holiday, we have to take opportunities to be able to talk about our messaging. Mm -hmm. And seven months after an election, we still got families that are living the way that they're living. Our Woodbury Village, palms up. Um, families are still talking to legal representatives to, before the statute of limitations run out to try to make sure they get on record to bring their story forward, right? Um, we're going to be welcoming some folks in town from Texas, right? Reverend Ronald Wright, if you are on dialysis out there, I need you to know that there's an MITV.FYI web channel to go to. 
go to MITV.FYI. One of the reasons it was important for us to get our virtual message into 4.25 million, we've got to be able to get back in control of yeah. our conversations, our issues. Mm -hmm. Did you know that people are dying in the world of dialysis just because yeah. they're not getting the proper treatment? Yes. Um, did you know that they're being blackballed and, and, and kicked out of their clinics when they speak up or ask questions? Mm -hmm. There's something called a fast food process of how they're getting them in and out. And you wouldn't notice if you don't um, have someone that's dealing with these dialysis challenges. So mm -hmm. MITV.FYI is our public service announcement channel. I'm so excited for that. I'm so excited because we're dealing with some stuff Seriously. in our communities and we have to find a way to get this word out and to let them know that we are serious about saving lives. Yeah. And that's why we're building the Trauma Center because we need to make certain you all know that there's a network of care. We don't have comprehensive systems of care. We don't have folks that get it. And it's time to change that. Especially, you for the, especially for for the mental health. Mm -hmm. Like when you were telling me about how this is actually going to work, it was so mind boggling that it's not being done. I know. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like, dang, hey, why don't we have a place where people can just go when they have an issue and not have to go through this whole bunch of red tape? And the fact that this crisis center can be there to to put us in a in a better state of the mm -hmm. community is going to be amazing. Like, yes, I'm it's going to be excited. amazing. And the I'm biggest excited. thing with the gun violence still going on, we people don't realize the importance of not having a level two or higher trauma center mm -hmm. because they're not going to sit there and perform that surgery right. you got to be medevac out. They're just stabilizing you. And we got to stop that. we got to stop taking second-rate care because they told us that that's the only way it could be done, and that's not true. Mm -hmm. So we're out here fighting this fight. I am going to run again in 2020. 26, but in the meantime, I got work to do, Palms Up. Yeah, we got to get this mental health message virtually. We've got to clean up these folks locally to get this fraud and this corruption addressed. Mm -hmm. um, so on June 19th, we're going to be blowing the whistle. Yeah. We're going to be calling it out down at Freedom Plaza. We're calling it out. We're doing a prayer breakfast. We have to recognize that we are the modern-day historians of our time. Mm -hmm. We keep telling our children the stories of yesterday. What are we talking right about now. today when 11-year-olds can, mm -hmm. they got legislation, they can get vaccinated, they out here carjacking, they out at 4 o'clock in the morning. What is going to look like in three years? Then it's going to be six years old? How old is your son? Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven years old. They, I mean, they, they serving it up for him. What's going, I mean, what's going to stop it? I know that's right, palms <laughs> up. He said, not mine, palms <laughs> up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey guys, it's your girl, it's your girl, and tonight we're just talking to a soldier, having a regular conversation about some regular stuff, letting you know what we're doing behind the scene. We are so excited for MITV.world because the way that mental health is looked at is such a stigma. So many people are not getting the help. Suicide is real, guys. I think it's getting hot. So you think it's okay to be committing these crimes because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, and it's not. It's not, and I need my women to step up because we are the nurturers of the community and we help our men make rational decisions, at least when we in our right brain, right? Mm -hmm. So we all can do the work. Our children deserve it. Palms up. We're talking to a real one on the couch tonight, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our creative director who's been in the background helping us get ready for our MITV uh, smart TV channel. We're so excited and what's going to happen with the Palms Up show is you're going to be able to pick up our shows on demand. So we're going to be able to make sure that we're just pumping out mental health content conversations, got community understanding. So if you're out there and you're excited for us and you're excited to be a part of this mental health network, then you need to reach out. MITV.world. We can all make a difference and we yes. intend to. Right. So guys from the wealth building, oh, two more coins just came today. I'm so excited. <laughs> Do you know the story of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln? Well, if you don't know the story, then you don't understand why I get so excited about being able to hold a piece of history and show our children on a piece of gold and a piece of silver. Oh, my God, y'all, we got to get going. We got some catching up to do. We've got some catching up to do, but never mind what came before us. We have opportunity yeah, right now. Right there, right there. We have opportunity and now. that's so. what we need to get to. Um, no disrespect, then again, I don't give a damn. Um, I'm so tired of everybody saying, look in the past, the past is the past. Yeah. It, 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 it really is. You're so busy looking backwards, you can't go forward. That's right. Hey, I heard something, and you just hit that. 
They said when you are living in the past, you are living more closer to a depressive state. Mm -hmm. When you are living in the future, you are ex uh, 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 distributing feelings of anxiety because you don't know what's going to mm -hmm. come. So you're worried about the future and you can't know, mm -hmm. right? So that's the anxiety. But when you are able to live in the present, that's the peace that you're looking for. And that's so every day you're trying to figure stop, out how to be present. Stop robbing yourself yes. of that yes. inner peace. And sometimes you just say, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And that's that's just it. It is what it is. I can't do no more. I'm not going to stress myself out. Mm -hmm. you, you're not going to destroy me. Mm -hmm. Just, okay, I, I ain't had my purpose. Like <laughs> some babies into our space yeah. and let them talk a little bit about their emotions, how they're feeling and get into their creative spaces. Guys, it's mental intelligent TV because it is time that we take our narrative back, right? And we want those of you who are interested in making a mindful difference, a mindful difference in the lives of so many that are struggling, we want you to join us, guys. That's what we're doing here at the Palms Up Show and in our entire family of mental health uh, outreach and our mental health professionals that have come to the table to make sure that we're saving lives. Palms oh, up out there. We're going to keep talking about this mental health tell us that's popular as everything else oh, you're looking at. Oh, I'm oh, just saying, oh, we all oh, need oh. it. <laughs> what they say? We crazy? We mad? Yeah. 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 Keep talking. Keep talking. We like it. Mental <laughs> Intelligent TV. If you're an artist out there, if you've been going to some dark spaces and you've been coming out of it with some creative mm -hmm. pieces, you've been wondering what to do, come on and put it on the platform so that we can put it out there to the 4.25 million viewers that we're going to go and meet. And what that mm -hmm. means is that when we're on at 7 p.m. in the East Coast on Fridays, the channel will be on at 4 p.m. in the West, West Coast, Coast. Mm -hmm. so we get to start connecting the dots. We're so excited, mm -hmm. guys. Palms up. Mm -hmm. Juneteenth is coming. We're holding a prayer breakfast, and we're also going to be doing a press a press conference. So, MITV.FYI is our PSA, mm -hmm. and we're going to obviously get this PSA. It's going to be on our TV channel. So, we want to be responsible for making sure we're educating the masses. If you have someone struggling with mm -hmm. dialysis, go take a look. Mm -hmm. You have someone dealing with lupus that might have, you know, understood that process. Go take a look, mm -hmm. because what we're saying to our folks is stop accepting status quo and low standards of living. Yeah. Stop going home depressed, quiet, withdrawing from the world because they can't get your medical treatment right because you're depressed because the pill's not working because you just don't know what to do with yourself because mm -hmm. you don't think anybody cares. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Get the knowledge. Reach out. Let us help. That's what we're out here doing. Mental health is real, guys. And if you can't find some sense of wholeness or stability, you're going to spiral. Yeah. So we thank our brave son, Mr. Nate Wheeler, for yeah. coming to the oh, table, uh, using his creative goodness for a positive reason, making sure that our men know that it's cool to be talking about our mental health, and doubling down on the fact that our children should get it from home. Mm -hmm. See, I'm just saying that there's something about a beautiful black family. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There is something about your beautiful black family. And just because it's fractured doesn't mean that it can't be whole again. We are very side. unique. Woo, we are so beautiful, mm -hmm. guys. Let me give you some facts and let you know why we do this work, guys. If you are out there, you're challenged with someone that's dealing with suicide feelings or tendencies, you got a hotline that you can call 24-7. It's one 800 273 
800-800-8255. Guys, suicide is real. Don't even play with it a yes, little it bit. Is. Let's make sure we're getting our folks in front of the help that they need. I want you guys to know that on average, women tend to get more help for their mental health than our men. And that's why I'm trying to hold our women accountable. This June, I'm asking my women to take care of our soldiers. Make sure to ask them, you know, just ask them how they feeling. Just ask them if they want to talk about it, right? Just ask them if they're in a comfortable and a safe place or if there's something they can help you to understand. Don't think you know. Just ask and then listen and then care. And to my folks out there, in these toxic relationships, Woo! I need you guys to create safe spaces that you can escape to when it gets to be too much. Yeah. You've got to be able to have your cold words or understanding so that when you guys mm -hmm. are not seeing eye to eye, you got to agree to step away for a minute. Yeah. Because when you stay in those energies, woo! Mm -hmm. I'm a witness. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking mm -hmm. whether it's female on female relationship or male mm -hmm. and male yeah. or male and female, we get the calls for all. Everything. Unhealthy is unhealthy. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, palms up out there. You got to do your work. I want you to know that many of our high school students are depressed, guys, and they are twice as likely to drop out of school. I want you to know that one in four persons shot by the police, killed between 2015 and 2020, had a mental illness. Guns don't shoot themselves. There's something at the root of what's going on when we have a consistent, a consistent loss of life the way that we do. I want you to know that 70 percent of the youth, 70 out of 100, more than half, more than half of our youth in the juvenile system have mental illness challenges. So when are you going to advance the conversation and advance your understanding from not whether they have an issue, but recognizing how to get help for the issue you know that they have? Because a lot of times the parents stand in the way of the children getting the help they need. Yeah. The stigma is real. Check yourself. If you are a parent that is not encouraging your children to get help, to talk to therapy, and don't settle for the first one. Palms up. Nate, you have a therapist, right? Yep. And did you did you have oh, to adjust no, your I, therapist at I, any time? I had to adjust everything. I've had to adjust medication. I've had to adjust therapists. I had to adjust psychiatrist I had to adjust all of them because mm -hmm. you gotta have the right mix, mix in yeah. order for you to move yes, forward it. if you don't it'll make it more toxic forward. if yes. you don't have that nice that mix mm -hmm. then you need to find the mix and yes. once you get it then you'll be alright yes yes so, yeah. guys we just have a regular everyday conversation mm -hmm. and you see we have fun in our offices don't you <laughs> we, we bringing you all kinds of little sets and things it's so fun to experiment with something new mm -hmm. and it's all in the name of mental health so I don't know what you heard you better ask somebody it's mm -hmm. cool to know what you're dealing with when you're talking about your mental health because right. yeah. you're able to be able to be wholer you're able to go out and do things more confidently and you're able to be the beast that you were meant to be palms awesome. up Guys, we sitting on the couch just talking to one of our soldiers, letting a little bit of the cat out the bag. We had to bring him from the background for a moment to let you know that we got some help. We're bringing out some big guns, guys. Palms up to you. Mid Nation Cafe. Go to MITV.world. Pass the word around. If you know somebody that's going through some things and they are a creative spirit otherwise, turn them on to us, guys. Let's start mm -hmm. building, as Nate said, a community online. Mid Nation is the representation of our followers. So when you go, sign up to be in the Mid Nation so that we can start doing wonderful, cool mm -hmm. things like doing summertime concerts. Did I tell you he's a yeah. producer? Uh oh. Can I tell you? He's starting to have a, good. I'm yeah. telling you, he's starting to have all these meetings. Mm -hmm and stuff so we're looking to have a good time in the name of mental health and I know that I have it in the right hands because he himself also wants to see it come out on top so that his child will be able to transition mm -hmm. and be able to be healthy in his journey guys it don't get no realer than that palms up Absolutely. so Nate thank you for just oh, being no a real problem. soul thank you so <laughs> much June is mental health, oh, I'm sorry, June, not May. June is men's mental health awareness. June is men's health awareness. June is also children's awareness, PTSD, 
Cancer Survivor, Pride, ALS. I'm telling you, June is about taking care of our people and recognizing that we can all do something to be our better selves. Palms up. Alright, I feel like I've been running my mouth and I mm -hmm. have these lights are hot. I tell you, I yeah. tell you. Uh -uh. Palms up. Yeah. It's hot up in this Vicky. <laughs> Hey guys, Nate is in the background working, working. We're going to be announcing our first show that should be up on Friday. Fingers crossed they get everything loaded up to the Mental Intelligence TV channel. We're on C1 Media's network, so we'll be getting all of that good information out. Monday, we're going to be stomping with the big dogs, yeah, because we're going down to uh, Freedom Plaza to let this town know that they done lost their Get mind. Lines. If they think our people are going to keep living like this seven months after the election. So, it's your girl, it's your girl, palms up, stay tuned to our platform. We're running for office. We're going online to the Smart TV Network. I tell you, we're just doing some stuff, What's guys. This is unstoppable. Hey, the unstoppable. And don't get it twisted. We're building a standalone trauma yes, and wellness we center. So, we got a lot of parties to throw. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Get involved, get involved. We love you, but only if you're willing to be responsible for your mental wellness and your mental health. Will we bring you aboard? All right, guys, Mid Nation Cafe, give us that material, mitv.world. Mm -hmm. And when you want to know what the word is and what we're putting out in the network, mitv.fyi is our public service announcement. Let's do this together, guys. Hey, hey, Overseer, Overseer, you got anything you want to tell them before we get out of here? You forgot one thing. What I forget? Juneteenth will mm -hmm. be our three-year anniversary. Oh, it's our oh. second. It is. It's our second-year anniversary of the Trauma Center. Center. You're right. <laughs> it feel like three because we ran for Come office. Up. I'm telling you, God has been elevating us. I'm telling you, yes, it is our second anniversary of the Trauma Center mission. We're so excited. We got some wonderful folks in the background. I know you've been seeing them pictures. Uh -huh, get, uh -huh, getting around. Uh -huh. Got to go do the business sometimes, guys. I want you to know I'm real about this mental health, and so are my soldiers. And so, guys, guys, get your mental health checked. Get in front of some people, guys. It's real. We want you guys to creatively express yourselves and know that we are here for you. We're creating a platform so that you can shine. So that you can shine. It's I time to do the word. word. The word for this week is victory. Mm. And believe it or not, you're walking in your victory right now. Yes. You're acknowledging what, what you're going through. And from your victory, because you're standing, now you shall become victorious. Hey, hey, I like that, I like that. And this our soldier, this our soldier on social media. He's elevated Nate. Yeah, yeah. Elevated Nate, but I tell him he's my very own Kanye West because he's a beast. <laughs> Thank you. So I can't oh, wait. Hey, so, Nate, give him a message. Give him a message when oh, we get man, out of here. Just, just stay focused on yourself, man. Put yourself around the right type of people. Keep your energy where it needs to be. Keep the negative energy away from you and you're gonna be able to thrive. So just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. And if you ain't doing the right thing, you need to make some changes and, and if you need help, reach out to mine. That's, that's, that's real, right there. Hey, it's real, it's real. Hey guys, hey guys, it's your girl, it's your girl, palms up. And you know I ain't satisfied, I ain't never satisfied till we stop <laughs> these guns and we get our people out the street and we break up that leadership downtown. So mm -hmm. I have my mission, guys, and just know I show up every day to do the work. Palms up out there if you need help, say something. HealthyDCandMe.org is still the website. Let us know when you need help. We'll get somebody in front of you. Meanwhile, MITV.world is our new television channel on the Smart TV Network. We're going to be having a launch party here in the studios really soon, so look out for that. And, yeah, we're going to turn up. We're going to turn up. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So why don't you plan to come in and join us, guys? All right, all right. It's your girl. It's your girl. Do us a favor and share the feed. Woo, a thousand viewers. Girl. That's, a, that's a, some big shoes to fill. All right, y'all. Let us do, help us do the work and spread come on this now. and come see on, let's if spread. we can reach a thousand in our social media network because mm -hmm. we're going to the smart TV network, mm -hmm. 4.5 mm -hmm. million a day. Tell I'm it. just saying. It. Taking it on the road. Palms up. It's your girl. It's your girl. It's another week, guys. Thank you so much. Spread the feed. Follow our work. Let us know what you think. All right, guys, palms up. Remember to love on your soldiers now. They need us this month and every month. Palms up to you guys. It's your girl. It's your girl. And just like that, it's over. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Happy belated Children's Day. Because <laughs> Sunday was the official Children's Day. Okay? <laughs> As you can see, we ain't got no boundaries. Yeah. We say, okay, that's it. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> I love you.
Yeah, yeah, man. Calm down. Peace, peace, peace. Yeah. See y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty, guys. Oh, let's see, let's see. Hey, 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 palms up. See you next week, guys. <laughs>